half really fits in that category. All right, let's uh, let's just start. Um, hey guys, Alex three five two seven here from Flaming Ground seven 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 seven, and I am playing Minecraft with Crazy Man seven 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 seven. Yes. Yeah. This time he started it first. Yeah. All right, are you going to start it and invite me to the game? I suppose I have to. I thought you already had the Minecraft game started. For some reason. Oh, good. Yeah. So what are we gonna do today? Oh, well, I was hoping just a little bit that we could have a ceiling. A yeah, ceiling would be good. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to focus... Right now, I'm going to focus on gathering seeds for a farm. Oh shit, I left a hole in the ro- on the frame of the shit. Alright, I gotta fix it. Uh, where is some oak at treeth? Hmm, I see one. So far I've had pretty bad luck, uh, getting seeds. Oh wait, got a seed. I have seeds in the chest that I have. You can seal oh. them if you want to. I'll just clear out this grass first. Alright, tree, you're prepared to be annihilated for absolutely no reason other than the consumption of wood. I like how my the way that Minecraft works teaches us that wood is like the only source of material. You can't do anything without wood. Which is ridiculous since in real life you really can do a bunch of different things. Like, for example, you can make adobe bricks out of sands and mud and lots of other things. You could make houses like the people did in the desert. Yeah, but you need a crafting table. Alex, I'm being realistic, not Minecraft realistic. So, for some reason, there seems to be a difference there. What are you talking about, Mr. Crafting tables in real life? <laughs> Should I make a stone or an iron bow? Wait, what? I'm making a hoe. Oh, make a stone. Okay. Let's see that you already made it anyway. Alright. Yes, we will. Oh, this is going to be the, the farm area. Oh no, I updated the blocks. What? They updated the blocks. No! But only one of them. Why? Why are the blocks over there so dumb? It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna get some dirt, I'll fix it. No, don't no, fix it. Wait, where did I get cocoa beans from? Um, but there isn't a jungle over here, is there? I haven't looked. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen a jungle. I don't remember where we got them. Maybe it was from the chest in the beginning. Oh yeah, it's been like a day now since- No, it's been like weeks since we made our last video. No. It's only been one week. True. Anyway, um... Uh, we- Damn, we gotta go find- We gotta go find the chest. I know I left it somewhere. Somewhere on the hill over it, here. It broke the chest, it's just right over here. Wait, what? You can't. The chest is just over here. No, I mean like the chest, uh, the bonus chest. I know. Oh. You know more about the bonus chest than I do, I'm scared. Alright, where is it? Oh, there it is. Why would you... Anyway... Oh, there's a stick. Hooray. Well, we probably have to wait a couple of Minecraft days for another stick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hooray. Ooh, chicken. I could use the chicken to have... Chicken. Oh, now I have two chickens. 
Why is it that I didn't get any experience for melt smelting iron, but I got experience for putting cow meat in and cooking it? No. Madness question, is this. No, but real question is, um, why is my computer being so loud? True. Like it's about to self-destruct. That would be interesting video if it actually happened. The fan just breaks off and starts <laughs> making horrid sounds. <laughs> oh god. Although for all I know that already started. Alright, what just make horrid sounds. What is something to be Oh wait, no, I know what I'm gonna do. I think we should explore that mountain. Uh, no. I was hoping that we could finish our house first. Well, I can't really help with that, so I guess I'll explore the mountains. Sure, why not? Then at least your video will be almost as interesting as mine, which is putting blocks around and digging in dirt. So yeah. exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, weren't we gonna talk about something? I don't remember what the subject was. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, um, I actually did learn about, um, quite a bit about Minecraft Xbox One, what we do know and what is hoped is real. Firstly, apparently Minecraft Xbox One is going to be, um, a giant one, basically. They're gonna start out like this version of Minecraft, except for updated, um, I think they said almost all the way to the full version of Minecraft on the computer. Or maybe it was all the way to the full version. It, it'll be pretty close, is what they're saying. And apparently, now they'll be able to have the, um, have the world's, like, um, what was it? Like, ten times larger or something than the last, um, version of Minecraft on the Xbox. So, um, I've learned also that it's actually not just Minecraft Xbox One. It's actually a mine. It's like um, a new version of Minecraft for both um, 360 and Xbox One. And apparently, save files actually transfer from one to Xbox 360, so they will be on the same page, basically. And that's cool. So um, you know that overhang you saw in the mountains? Oh yeah, that thing. Um, you know you should probably come back and sleep. Oh yeah, what? Overhang does not touch the ground. Yes, I noticed that. I can see you. I still can't believe that you managed to explode three creepers without them killing each other. How is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at killing creepers. <laughs> no, I, I mean I like. I killed a single creeper. Three cre- I'm pretty sure that you said that there are three creepers and two of the three exploded. I'm not quite sure how that would work. Nope. So. All three exploded and then later I found a fourth and I didn't explode. <laughs> what? I don't remember the fourth part. Really? Oh, no. Three of them exploded in the hole and then the fourth one exploded elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, um, also they plan to make the, um, Xbox One, the version for Xbox One have a higher capacity than the version for the 360. So they're like, um, they said that they're going to start with a maximum of eight players per server, like it is now, but they say that they plan for the future, they plan, um, for in the future for having a lot more than that. Like, how much? I don't know. Okay. They said that how they much? would expand from there. What, what sources are you getting this from? From IGN. Oh, that's a good source. It is. Usually they're right. Um, well, most of the time. Anyway, apparently it's also supposed to release in August. Which is this month, I believe soon apparently in august as well apparently um it is not going to be free it is going to be basically if you've ever gotten the original version of minecraft for the xbox 
then you can just pay five more dollars, and basically it will upgrade to the full for the new version. What if you just want to stay on the 360? Well, you don't have to. Well, Alex, I told you that the update is going to be for both. Oh. Everything transfers over, so basically, if you ever download it on the 360, then you can download it on the Xbox One, and then pay five dollars and get the new version. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I don't know how I would know what you're doing out in the mountains. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to get a ceiling. Let's see how that will work. I'm thinking that I'm just gonna use half blocks for the ceiling because you can do that now. That's good. Before you couldn't, and I haven't made a house that uses half blocks the way that you can in the Xbox, not Xbox, regular version. Although I have built houses in the regular version that use half blocks as their ceilings. Why do you keep doing that? Man, what if they had one fourth blocks that were like. Well, yeah, they were literally a fourth of the size of one block. Uh, that would be so strange. I thought some cool. Hopefully that background noise won't be heard by my computer. Oh, that will, for sure. Giant door closing. For sure. So what are your thoughts on all the new snapshots for the computer Minecraft? Very new snap snapshots for Minecraft? You know, I'm, I'm subscribed to Seth Bling, but I have not looked at a single one of his videos since, well, um, like, forever. There's been a snapshot where they added, uh, if you put a piece of colored glass on top of a beacon, it changes the color of the beacon. Oh, that's cool. And then they have different doors for each wood type. And they're all different styles. Man, I thought they would have already gotten to the wood type thing. They also added fences for the wood types. I don't know what I think about that. I always kind of liked how, like, the doors and the fences and stuff were always the same color. They could waste the garbage wood. <laughs> yeah, so that then you could somehow get... But the, all the doors look pretty cool, except for some of them really want look right with certain builds. Because they kind of fit the style of the biome that's the trees growing. Well, yeah, that would be the point. Okay, are these sheep, like, actually making it so that things aren't growing here? I'm trying to figure it out. Crap, now I just destroyed something. I'll put it back. I'll make a better- I'll make a better farm for our plants later. I'm not a big hole. How exciting. Isn't that whole mountain a big hole? I'm pretty sure. Because it looked like there was like a huge hole in it. Uh, I don't know how a mountain would be a hole, but... Well, maybe we'll find out. Oh, a mob spawner. Sick. Is it outside? Nope. Oh. But it's almost outside. Close enough. I guess. Might be outside. Let's see. What's my white one? It's Y69, so it's above sea level. Oh, good. Oh, a non breaking free book. What? Some string, saddle, some weed. Oh, we could use a saddle. And the upper chest has another saddle. Some There's red. an ender chest in there? Redstone, smite three book. Jesus. And so can you use books in in survival? This is something I'm not aware of. Um, so can you like use books um, multiple times? No. That sucks. Why would they even do that? Because then you can have enchantments that you can put on any item you want. In real life, if I put a if I like slam a book real on top life, of a if sword. If you put a book on top of a sword, it wouldn't do anything. <laughs> exactly. Where does that even come from? That's so weird. Oh, this is a whole cave system that's above sea level. 
It's amazing how us, how talking about the game that we're doing right now is lasting longer than that than when we actually were talking about something interesting. Well, we have a roof. Side Last. note. Why is the Xbox One on? Oh shit, did I say what Xbox One and then on in that order? Fuck. Well, that's the only thing about the Xbox One, is that if I say Xbox One, sometimes it thinks I say Xbox On. Yeah, um, Which honestly isn't that far the name, from the truth. Why. Why my connects me is every time I walk to the uh, my brother was playing Call of Duty, or... He would sign you in. Yeah. Yo, that's why I turned off signed in automatically for pretty much... watching Yoga on the Xbox One. What? And sign my account on if I walked in the room. And say that I was watching a Yoga CD. And then I would... Rage. <laughs> All right then. What an interesting story. Yeah, it is an interesting story. Yes, that's why I said what an interesting story. All right, I'm gonna kill some more cows and see if I can get myself a hat. The only thing that I need is a hat because I'm an amazing man. With amazing plan. What the hell are you talking about? I'm three four three guilty spark from uh Halo. I know. The only thing that will look look semi real would be the hat. <laughs> Why would I wear pants if the rest of me is invisible? I should be a completely invisible character. That would be awesome. <laughs> if only the items that you would have would be invisible too. That would be kind of oh. fun. The point would be that you just you could just be a walking pair of pants. Yeah, that would be kind of funny though. Um, I mean, three four three guilty spark walking around with a sword isn't that far from the truth because in Halo you can actually hold it and forge. Wow, so it, it has, and some of it died because I did I stuff. Like yeah, um, the games I've been playing have had ridiculous amounts of no- nothing coming from wheat that's fully grown. Like, seriously, the last game I played that was, um, in the Halo texture pack, um, in the Halo texture pack, every single, like, I grew wheat, and it literally took, like, um, at least a month in Minecraft days for any of the wheat to grow fully. And once it all grew fully, half of it didn't even give me anything. Like, literally, I broke some of the wheat, and it didn't give me any actual wheat or seeds. It was ridiculous. That it wasn't actually fully grown. No, it really was fully grown. Full it just... grown wheat always gives you at least one seed and at least one wheat. No, I don't know about that, because I've done stupid stuff before. No, wait. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. So, Alex, have you seen the trailer for the next, the last trailer for, um, Halo 2 Anniversary? Um, I've not seen anything that has happened since the last video we made, because I went on vacation. Um... It's for one that's on Halo, Halo follower. It's in 1080p HD. It has the Arbor in it. This videos. Yeah. Um. I don't know how old it is. I should probably look. It's the one where they show. Um. It's the one where we're in the control room of Halo, the second Halo. Most of the time. Sure. It's actually, you know, you should just watch it right now, because that would be something to do. Um, I'll watch it after I get the video. Probably. Well, all you need to know is that you remember that ugly ass um monitor from Halo Four? 
Uh, yeah. Probably. Apparently, the Halo. Apparently, Halo 2 anniversary. They changed 343 Guilty Spark to that. It's ridiculous. That was supposed to look like in 343's eyes. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I would have to say I really like the old version much better. The new version looks really bulky and ugly. Also, apparently they change. Apparently now, um, Captain Miranda Keys is. Wait, is she a captain? I forget. Anyway, um, Miranda Keys is apparently going to be like 50, 40 years old or something. Now she looks really old in her in the cutscenes. Man, how is it that like everything you're near starts with legs, but when like I'm near stuff, it doesn't? How does Minecraft do that? It's like magical. A magic leg. Something you would never hear in another game that would be interesting. Like, what do you, what do you think of them changing so much about uh, Halo 2? No, they didn't really change much, it's just a couple of aesthetic things. I know, but I would say that, like, before... They really spiked and easily overlooked. Yeah, I know, but like before, I'm not quite sure why they would change the um, the look of them, because last time they did it, three four three and um, damn, what is the other? What are the other people working on Halo Two Anniversary? Certain Affinity, they both did Halo, the original Halo remake, and that one did not change at all. Basically, I mean, well, literally, it was just the Yes, it was. I don't remember what the monitor was. What do you mean? I don't remember what he looks like in He looks game. exactly the same as Halo Reach. He looks pretty much exactly the same as he did in the original game. Well, they, they had an actual artist going for him. Yeah. I'm not quite, like... I don't, I don't really understand, though, where the whole thing... I, I could understand them changing some stuff to look like Halo 4, because, you know, that would make sense. Although, honestly, I don't understand why they didn't change Master Chief to Halo 4 version, because then, like, there's something... There's, like, a whole paradox there. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, in Halo 4, the um, Master Chief's armor is completely different, and they changed what the Mark 2 looked like. Sorry, the Mark 6. But then, when they had made... Now that they're making Halo 2 Anniversary, he's still in the the Mark 6 from Halo 3, in Halo, the original Halo 2. Um, like, what is the point of that? That means that in Halo 5, he'll be back to that one. I hope so, because honestly, the one in Halo 4 was cool, but it didn't make any sense whatsoever. Although, what bothers me is that statue that you can get with a certain edition of the game has the Halo 4 armor. Yeah, but I know that's a Halo. I know that it is actually, um... Well, that's because Halo 4 is in the collection. Yeah, but Halo 4 is the featured game. It kind of seems to be, because I've actually been seeing a bunch of trailers on the Xbox One now for Halo 4. Apparently they're supposed to release Halo 4 for the Xbox One. Um, that's just part of the Master Chief collection as far as I know. Well, I've seen individual trailers for it. They're like, a bunch of trailers for games that were considered the best games of Xbox 360, which honestly I did not agree with their list. But, um, apparently it said that they were making, um, they're making all those games. Um, for he Xbox One. That's cool. That would be cool if I if I actually liked Halo 4. Yeah. And that would also be cool if they weren't making the Master Chief Collection. Like, some of that stuff doesn't make any sense. Because if you got Halo 4 for the Xbox One separately... Like, why would you ever do that? Because the Master Chief Collection comes with all the DLC for all the different games. If 
I assume that if they would come out with Halo 4 for the Xbox One, then it would be completely, it would be without DLC because Microsoft is an asshole. And I know that Microsoft was the one who came up with the idea for me making those games because it had their logo on it. Strange things, strange things indeed. Ow, toxic damage. Apparently one of our wheat has grown. Only one seed. Damn, ridiculous. Well, hopefully we'll find emeralds. I know this version of Minecraft has emeralds because I've seen them before. Um, right now I'm actually setting up a mob farm. Wait, you mean like mob farm as in friendly or enemy? I don't know what you mean. Well, well, some like I was asking if you were talking about which kinds of mob you're talking about, you're talking about the ones that try to kill you or the ones that are just going around and looking derpy, like the squid that's spazzing out. Particularly zombies. Okay, so you're using a mob spawner to make a mob trap that kills them? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to make it so that you can't really kill them, though. You know, actually, you could probably do a mob dropper. You know, the one, the mob dispensers were basically just, um... Is, like, four different sections up pretty high above Minecraft. The, um, Minecraft world. We could do that here because we have that gigantic floating mountain. We could um, build a, basically a giant box and make a hole in the bottom and make it so that water will come out. And that would kill pretty much all of the mobs that would spawn inside it. Uh, yeah. This will be simpler. Why are there mushrooms? Well, yeah, there are simpler ways, I think. So does this one involve... You having to kill them, or do they just come out? This is a uh, one where you have to kill them. Yeah. Well, I I'm t kind of lazy, so sometimes I I would like to have one that does involve killing people. And that would need an episode to itself. Yeah, apparently. Tutorial: How to make mob spawner that kills everyone, including you, multiple times. Seriously, last time I did this, and did that in survival, it killed me so many times. It was worth it though because last time I made it in survival, I made it uneven. I did really do some. I did do something really dumb last time I made the mob dropper though. Like I actually put the mob dropper directly above my house, and I could never get the stuff that came out because it always despawned by the time I got to the top of my house. Oh. Uh... You said you did do something stupid. Yeah, that's what I said. I did do something stupid. But that was... That sounds kind of stupid to me. Well, what I normally do is that, like, um... You, you would remember this. I always make a hotel. That it basically... It just keeps going. And the hotel that I'm talking about is one that went all the way to the top of the, um... The skybox. But I wasn't using any of it, so basically I just converted half of it to the mob dropper, and ba and it still had I still had to go up like um, enough floors that things would despawn by the time I got to the top. No, things don't despawn unless you go out of range. No, what I did is that I would go like my thing was like seven floors or something, like seven really big floors. So, what I would do is that I would go all the way to the bottom to see if the mobs fall, because it's kind of funny. And then I would be like, wait a second, I have to go and get it. And then I would go all the way to the top and then realize I have to craft something and then go to the level that I needed. Yeah, basically I got distracted because there were so many levels of nice stuff that I had. And then, by the time I actually got to the top, there would never be anything up there. I've managed to make something that automatically drowns mobs. Oh, that's good. But it's on accident. <laughs> what? How do you make something that drowns mobs on accident? It's just a bunch of water stowed up oh. here. Oh, we should probably explore this world at some point. That's what I'm trying to do. 
Oh, I would come back if I were you. It's night time. No! No, 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 bad time for autosave. So Wait, what? Dying. You need to change that in your settings right after this happens. I can't, because I'm going to die right after that happens. How? I opened a hole. <laughs> oh no, why? And it spilled out, Tom. Well, apparently your statement was true. Finally, some wheat out of here. Man, this wheat will not give yeah, me a single break. They'll be fine break. as long as in this update they can't pick up my sword. Wait, what? Zombies can pick up your sword in another in the next couple of updates? Yes, they pick up your sword and all your armor. Man, I'm glad that I don't play computers in Minecraft anymore, because honestly, it's not very much fun anymore. But it's been that way for a year. I know. That's why I like this version. This version is the classic version of Minecraft, where it's like survival. Everything isn't too complicated. You start out with a map, so you don't have to fucking make one, which takes forever. I never make maps, because they're useless. Well, they're useless unless you want to go and find your friend that you're playing with on Minecraft. Which only happens when you're on servers that you own. Because if you're on a server that you don't own and you make a map, you show yourself to everyone else and then they come and kill you. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, um... No, I mean, like, this version of Minecraft. I do like how, um... This... Yeah, how the way that... The way that servers work in this version of Minecraft, it's like... There's no lag from idiots in game in the game, and there's like picking people is a lot easier, and you can reinvite them. It's like more simple well, that's than because it's, it's an Xbox lobby, not an actual server. Yeah, it actually is a server. It doesn't call itself a server. It calls itself a server. Not really. Yeah, it does. It actually it does says. Party. All right, fine. Whatever. Oh, it flips. That's interesting. Well, we do ha we have managed to talk about quite a few things now. Oh uh, yeah, how long have we been recording? Oh, that's a long time. How did that even happen? Who knows, but, uh... That's ridiculous. Alright, um, I'm gonna save that we're gonna make a break in the video right here. We're gonna- we're gonna cut it right here. 30 minutes because it kind of seems like a thing that our videos are about 30 minutes long with this yeah all right so this is when i'm gonna cut the video right here all right guys i'll see you next time next week next place hooray